Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. Today I've got this fun You Float My Boat note card. It is Piper and Ink sketch number six. Last week I did a sketch number five and this week I'm introducing a brand new sketch for you. Paper and Ink sketch number six is available on my blog. You can download the sketch with or without measurements and you'll also be able to find a project sheet for this particular card. Now, crafty girls do what they want. I rotated my sketch. I changed my um, rectangle for a square, but I think you can see it there. All right, let's get started. Let me go through the Stampin' Up! supplies you'll need to make this card. I got a brand new Stampin' Up! stamp set. It's Message in a Bottle. I'm really excited about this one. And that is the focal um, stamp set that we used in this card. Uh, I needed a heart that was a little bit smaller than this one for my tag here. Wait till you see how cute this is. Do you see this? Look at this bitty little tag. So I used this heart from Tabs for Everything. I used the Coffee Cups Framelits dies and that's where this tiny little tag comes from. I just can't get over how cute that is. Um, I also used my Layering Squares Framelits dies. My embellishments for this project are the new mini chevron ribbon in Bermuda Bay. And then I've got some of this great burlap ribbon and I just peeled off a piece of this. It's a little bit thicker, a little bit more rustic than the linen thread and I liked that. Um, this piece is uh, six and a half inches. All right, my stampin' pads for this project, crumb cake, early espresso, Real Red and Soft Sky. And my consumables and embellishments. I've got a eight and a half by five and a half crumb cake card base. It's scored at four and a quarter. And there's no need to write down these measurements. Like I said, there's a project sheet on the blog and you'll find a link in the description below. You can just print out the measurements. I've got two pieces of the new coffee break designer series paper. This is one and a half by five and a quarter and this is three by five and a quarter. I've also got a piece of the new Be Merry designer series paper. And this is a half an inch by three and a quarter. I have layering square um, framelits and this one, this is two and five eighths square and it's matching scallop and real red. I've got a piece of soft sky cardstock. It's one half inch by three and a quarter for our greeting. And then I have some scraps of whisper white and the scraps of whisper white are for the hearts and the bottle and the little tag and I don't know what I have here. Um, two and a quarter by three and a quarter and three by one and three quarters. I might not even need all of that. I just wanted to have more rather than less. And I've got two pieces of the mini chevron ribbon. I'll show you why in a minute. They're about seven inches long. All right, let's get started here. We'll do some stamping. I'll get the Stampin' Pierce mat and some ink pads and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got my bottle image and I'm going to stamp that with Soft Sky And then I've got the little ship image here and early espresso. I'm going to ink that up real good so that that boat comes out in a solid brown. Okay, now I want some waves in the bottom of the bottle. So I've got my soft sky and the little wave image. And I'm going to stamp that right across the bottom here and it can go off of the bottle because we are going to cut the bottle out. So there's that. Then I've got crumb cake and the little cork image. Put a cork in the bottle. How cute. All right, now in the margins here, we're going to stamp one of this bitty heart from Tabs for Everything and two of this little bit bigger one from Message in a Bottle. I've got the You Float My Boat sentiment 
We're gonna stamp that in early espresso on this pool party strip. Now I'm gonna take this bitty little tag die from coffee um, cup framelit set and a little bit of whisper white paper. I'm gonna go die cut that and I'll be right back. All right, that's that tiny little tag. Do you see how cute that is? All right, I'm gonna fussy cut these. I've got my paper snips and I'm going to cut the bottle out right on the line so that, that all those waves off the edge there just disappear. All right, I'll finish fussy cutting this and the hearts and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm done my fussy cutting and I'm back. Let's get this card assembled. I wanna grab one of the brand new mini dimensionals and I've got some that are cut in half. I'm gonna put one of those mini dimensionals that's cut in half on the back of the smallest little heart. That's the one from Tabs for Everything. And then I'm going to put that tiny little heart on this bitty little tag. How adorable is that, right? Then I'm gonna take both ends of this piece of the burlap ribbon and I'm gonna put it through the back of the tag. And it's a tight fit and there might be a little bit of shredding, but you can get it through there. Okay, so there was a little bit of shredding on my ends before I tie it to the bottle. I'm gonna cut that off. It'll be easier to deal with. And we're gonna pull it almost all the way through. So we got a little loop. Then I'm gonna put the loop around the neck of the bottle and pull tighter. Then I'll tie a bow here by just looping up. Bring one tail over the loop and tuck through. I didn't tie an anchor knot to keep the bulk down here because you got such a bitty little tag. You don't want it to be completely eaten up by the burlap ribbon. But I love the texture that that brings. Okay, so there's our little bottle with the tag tied on. Trim the tails. And let's get some dimensionals on the back of that. Now let's move on to our card here. I've got a piece of herringbone, soft sky pattern, and I'm running a line of snail along the back edge. Now I'm going to use my grid paper and I'm going to use that to get this perfectly square, nice 90 degree angle, and exactly four inches wide. So we'll line this up along the bottom. So this line is straight, it goes four inches, and then straight up this perpendicular line. So now we've got a nice square four inch panel. Now I'm going to grab a little bit of fast fuse here and go across where the two papers meet. And that's how we'll adhere our ribbon. So we've got the Bermuda Bay mini chevron ribbon and I'm lining it up along the soft sky paper and then I'll just wrap the tails to the back and tuck it into that fast fuse. So there's our ribbon across the front of the card. Let's grab some snail adhesive and get this adhered to the card front. And we'll center it top to bottom, right to left, so we get a nice even crumb cake border all the way around. Whisper white square, we want to add our sentiment banners before we adhere it to the real red scallop. So I'm gonna cut a little dovetail in the ends of both of these banners. Cherry cobbler and white one, we want that one to run a little bit longer than the whisper white square. And we want the soft sky to run shorter than the whisper white square. So I've got some snail on the back there. I'm gonna roll the end 
and then overlap. All right, looks good to me. Now we'll flip, cut off the excess, and then we'll snail this whisper white piece to the real red scallop. I'm going to add dimensionals to the back of this real red scallop square. Okay, and back all of my dimensional adhesive on both pieces is exposed. Let's get our card base back in here. And what we want to do is add this about an inch up. Then we'll add our little bottle. And we want that to tip up so that the boat's sailing level. Oh, how cute. Now I've got two more little hearts here that we fussy cut and we're going to use those to embellish. So I got a little multi-purpose liquid glue. We'll glue one on the corner of the bottle and we'll glue one over these two banners. Last, let's embellish with some more of the Bermuda Bay Chevron. I've got my other seven and a half inch piece here and just slid it underneath. Now I'm going to fold up over my index finger, tuck through the loop there and pull and then we gotta give it some finesse. And we'll trim the excess and give these a nice um, angle cut. And then I'm going to take just the tiniest bit of this fine tip glue pen. It's a clear glue. And I'm going to glue along the edge of the mini chevron ribbon. I've found that if you handle it, um, it tends to unravel a little bit. So some of this very fine tip clear glue along the edge of the ribbon will keep your ribbon from unraveling as it goes in and out of envelope or gets handled. It just needs the littlest bit and you can kind of tuck it into the edge of the ribbon and then you want the ribbon to kind of hold up while it dries so it doesn't get glued down to the card. Okay, so there they are. You float my boat. If you've got any questions about this project or about the paper and ink sketches number six, you can email me, marissa, at kitchentablestamper.com. Thanks for watching.